Well, good morning to you all. Welcome back to the Ben Lemon Real YouTube channel. I do say morning because it's not even 8 o'clock in the morning yet on this uh, beautiful Sunday. And yeah, I decided, I thought today if I was going to go out and do some train spotting that I would go to a location that I actually hadn't been to in a while on the account that I can go more places than I ever could before. Uh, we're at the uh, Rue saint Ambroise level crossing in saint Henri, Montreal. Um, it's a place I used to come to pretty much all the time because it was the probably the busiest right-of-way I could easily access by public transportation. Um, of course, there's stuff on the South Shore as well. I'm from the South Shore of Montreal, uh, but I, I, I always found this was a better spot because there's a, usually a little bit more traffic than on the, the South Shore side of things because of Via Rail. Uh, and just the traffic going between Tasho and Southwark and obviously to points east. Um, so I figured why not give it a try again, uh, come back to an old uh, regular spot <laughs> that I haven't gone to in a while. All right, so interesting first catch. Uh, the light engine power for CN148 uh, coming from the Port of Montreal and heading to Tashro. Uh, I wasn't sure what it was because I heard him on the radio talking about approaching Tashro or going towards Tashro. And, and for some reason I thought, oh, he's coming from Tashro, going to Tashro from the uh, from the west. Uh, and then I thought about it again, I'm like, but that doesn't make any sense because I wouldn't be able to hear him from here all the way from like Dorval or Lachine, wherever they are. Uh, calling for Tashro, so uh, a few seconds later the signal lit up and not more than five minutes after here came those two Jivos. So hey, cool first sighting. I uh, was hoping to see uh, something interesting here and uh, I'd say a light engine move qualifies. I don't see that all too often, uh, but yeah. But now I'm back in the car as you can see because my toes are quite cold. I failed to wear the right footwear. It's not like it's super cold today, but it's just enough and there's a wind wind chill you know so it's like yeah it could be better but anyway i'm going to try and find another location maybe around here maybe further down the montreal sub that i can stay uh in the car until <laughs> something shows up just to keep my my toes from like falling off <laughs> i decide i'd move up the line towards Turcot west while the signals showed little promise eastbound manifest cn 306 was already waiting in one of the sidings idling without a crew Coincidentally, only a few days earlier, I had spotted loaded potash train B730 parked at the same location. Trailing on that train was one of CN's acquired X City Rail leaser units. After a little bit of uh, driving around and just taking out a couple of other locations, I decided to come back here because, first of all, 306 uh, is still here. Uh, no crew, uh, waiting for a crew. So uh, hopefully we'll get him going at some point. He has a really nice lash up, as you've seen already. I also know that CM120 is on its way, uh, of course. It wouldn't be a normal day in Montreal uh, railroading if there wasn't a CM120. It's very rare that that train doesn't happen. It's a basically guaranteed market on your schedule kind of train. So. Uh, he should be on his way relatively shortly. Um, just talking to uh, RTC not too long ago around Tashram, so I don't think we'll be waiting too long for him. Uh, I also heard about a CN324 heading towards, uh, I think, to St. Albans, Vermont, which would be coming probably right behind 120 or not too far behind him. Uh, so we do have a couple of prospects. Hopefully we'll be able to see them all. Um, I also picked this location because not only is the lighting good on the side of the trains, but it's also it seems to be relatively spared from the wind. 
Uh, we're getting gusts up to 50 kilometers an hour right now, so it's it's pretty it's pretty windy. So uh, as much as that microphone does a pretty good job at countering it, uh, it's not perfect. So I don't want to make it work too hard. I'd say it was definitely worth uh, about a 30 minute wait that I've been here, 30, 40 minute wait. Um, I was thinking 120, 120 would pass first, uh, but in the end it was 324 as you saw with, that, with those two uh, M-2 liters, which was very nice. Of course, we still have 306 with his uh, SD70i in the back here, so uh, good EMD representation as well as VS65 going through with that F40, so uh, very cool stuff. Uh, I don't know if 120 is going to be coming that quickly because both tracks are currently occupied. Uh, I assume at least he'll be waiting until uh, 65 gets out of the way of Tashro, uh, if that even. So I don't, I don't really know for sure. Uh, I haven't heard of defect detector for 305, uh, not 305, 324, uh, but uh, I assume he wasn't uh, very long, probably under uh, 400 axles somewhere. Uh, but yeah, so. 
definitely worth the wait and uh, I'd say it puts a good cap on this little matinee of uh, rail signing here on the Montreal sub. Um, definitely an area that I, I used to frequent a lot more often as I said at the beginning but uh, now I'm uh, a little less frequently but uh, I think this area especially around here where Turcotte is is always a fun place to be. Um, and yeah so uh, I think I'm going to cap it there because I don't think he's going to be moving very soon and uh, while 120 is great I've seen him a million times in a million different shades in a million different places so uh, I think uh, we can take a break on on 120 for today. Uh, it's, you know, doesn't change much from day to day. Anyway, so in that case, I'm going to leave it at that. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one, uh, this edition of Montreal Trackside. Uh, definitely like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think uh, in the description below. Uh, and uh, stay tuned for more videos just like this. Hope I'll be seeing you next time. Trackside here in Montreal. Cheers.